Hello and welcome to a free Excel tutorials. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how you can search for specific text in Excel. In and uh, let's see a scenario that we have over here and what we are going to do. Okay, I have here a tiny report of uh, a list of emails. Say perhaps they are a member, and what I want to achieve is to group all the emails. Uh, who have Hotmail or Gmail or Yahoo and I want to group them separately according to their domain okay which is either Hotmail, Gmail or Yahoo and I want to be able to produce this as a report so to do this we can use two methods okay one is we can use the text to column tool in Excel or we can use a pivot table Okay, I'm going to show you two ways to do that, to do this. So first of all is the text to column tool. Okay, this tool over here in the data tab, you can see there is this text to column. This tool will break apart uh, a text string and create as many columns as we need. Okay, so for this, we have for the email, we have, we want two fields, the name and the domain. Okay. So the name will be the part where in front of the email address uh, and it can then the domain can either be Yahoo, Hotmail or Gmail. So the, the at sign here or alias sign, whichever you want to call it, will act as the delimiter or in other words, the separator for the field. Okay, so I have here the labels that I'm going to use, which is the name and the domain. Okay, and now uh, I'm one, I'm going to use the text to column to to group the emails. But first, I want to copy a copy of the data set, and I'm going to paste the data over here. Okay, so let's do this. And now I have copied the email addresses. I'm ready to use the text to column tool. So come over to the data tab and click on text to column. Oh, okay. First you need to select the data and click on text to column. So the first thing that you see here is uh, how the, the data will be um, sorted out. So the first, first thing is to click next. And here we will select others because our delimiter will be the, the add sign or the alias sign okay and you can notice the preview down here that uh, the text has been separated into two columns so just click next and finish and there you go we have the we will now have the uh, the name and also the domain okay it's very easy to see um, who, uh, which member is using which domain. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you show you the second method, which is but to use a pivot table. Personally, I I prefer the pivot table. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a a blank blank cell. Let's see. Let's put it here. Okay, and with a single cell selected, okay, I will go to the, I will insert the pivot table, okay. So we will go to the insert tab and select pivot table, okay. So what we have now is uh, the range of data that will be selected. And what I want to do is I will put it in a new worksheet. So, okay. Uh, let's put it at the existing worksheet. Let's put it down here. Now let's put it here. And okay. Okay, so I had an error. So let me, if I delete this and click any inside here insert the pivot table to the existing worksheet click okay okay so now we have the pivot table so 
what I want is I want to put the domain in the row labels area. Okay, so now you can see that we have three categories, three groups of domain. It can be either Gmail, Hotmail, or Yahoo. Okay, and um, of course we want to know which email uh, is in which group. So we I'm going to use uh, the email and then I'm going to nest it inside the row labels. So now you can see uh, we have for the Gmail group, we have Lisa at gmail.com and Stacy at gmail.com. And we, for the Hotmail group, we have David, Gina, and Mona. Okay. And we can improve this by changing the view of the pivot table. Okay. This view might work. You know, it, it can be used, but I, I, I'll, I prefer this view. Okay. Go over to the design tab and go to the report layout and show it in outline form okay now you see that uh, you have uh, the emails listed and you can also uh, make use of the collapse button you know say i only want to look at those with yahoo so you just click here and if you need the information you can copy the cells okay if you want to look at the yahoo a hotmail okay, you can just expand Okay, so that is how we can have a nice report of the member's email um, separated um, according to group uh, based on their email service provider. Okay, and that is how you can search for text strings in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so I hope you like the tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial.